Hi, I'm your host, Rosen Kamau, a certified nutrition coach with a background in psychology. Here on Hey Sugar Podcast, you will learn how to live a healthy and sustainable lifestyle without dieting. I'll be teaching you practical tips that you can incorporate in your unique lifestyle. I am going to help you break any dieting mindset traps and show you that a healthy and sustainable lifestyle is doable. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to keep it real. Now, you see, I was once overweight, I was once medically obese and had a diagnosis of high cholesterol. I've been able to keep my weight off and keep my cholesterol numbers to a healthy range for over the past 15 years. So if you're ready to change your life for good and create a healthy and sustainable lifestyle for yourself, then this is for you. Let's go. Hey sugar, today is all about goal setting. And if you even want to go deeper into really understanding how to do goal setting, I have a workshop that I did and I've given my clients and I'm giving it to you. So you can go to the link below, download that workshop, take some time. I've given you some PDF documents to begin to clarify and have proper map and a proper plan for you to set your goals. Now, the other day I was talking to my daughter who's going to college. Yo, my daughter is going to college. Like, how oh, that girl was just born the other day. Anyway, and one of the things I was talking to her about was she needs to be very clear on what it is that she wants to do. And so what I'm going to share with you is exactly what I shared with her, what I use in my own life and what I teach my clients to do. And the first thing that you want to do when you're setting goals is there needs to be a level of clarity as to what it is that you want. Goal setting is not just about getting to a destination. I have always told people that as you're working on your goals, it's really not about getting to the end destination, but it really is about the person you become as you are getting to that destination. And so anytime you are setting your goals, you need to have a sense of clarity as to what exactly it is that you want for yourself what it is exactly that you want to achieve in your life. And the first thing I want you to do as you're setting that goal is I want you to think really big. I want you to think so big to the point where you actually get scared. I want the goals that you set to scare you. Yes. And the reason for that is when you set big, scary goals, it really is going to number one, you're tapping into your highest being. Like this is who you want to become. This is the person you're wishing to become. But even as you're setting those goals, it basically shows you that you just don't get to those goals just like that. You got to put in some work. You got to put in the, the effort. And it's doable because there are people be, be in front of us, ahead of us, who've actually set big goals and they've hit their goals, right? So I want you to think big about the goals that you're setting. So as you're working, whether it's your lifestyle transformation, whether it's changing your relationship with food, whether it is uh, moving your body more, whether it's lifting weights, whether it's walking, whether it's doing a marathon, set a goal that for you, you want to look at the end and say, wow, I actually did that. That was a big, scary goal, and I actually hit that goal. So make your goal big. The next thing I want you to do is you've got to write it down. Write it down. Write everything down. The first thing you do, and again, download the workshop that I did because this workshop is actually going to show you in depth exactly how to go about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to write every single thing that you're going to be working on and doing. And the reason why this is important, there's actually studies that show that anytime you write things, pen and paper, not necessarily on, um, on your phone, even though I know we're, we're more on a digital age. So the studies basically show that if you take pen and paper and you write things on paper, you're actually much more apt to reach in your goal just by writing it. Listen, listen to this, listen to this. You are 42% more likely to achieve that goal just by writing it down. I don't know if you heard me, girl, but just writing it down gives you a 42% chance of reaching your goal. And so with that alone, why not write it down? Like for me, I have some big, scary, audacious goals that I've written down for myself. Some have come to pass, some have not, but I've written them down. And what I do is I look at that paper on a regular basis. On a, at least once a week, I am looking at my 
my, my goals. I'm looking at what are the things I need to do and things I need to work on. What are the things I am aiming for? Now, as you're doing this, I want to be clear about something because now this is the work and this is what you would need to work on. You're going to have thoughts come into your brain. You're going to have doubt. You're going to have fear. You're going to feel like you are, um, you, you're not capable. You're going to question yourself whether you deserve to achieve those goals. And the answer is absolutely heck percent yes. 100% heck yes. What you want to do is you even want to begin to notice what is your brain telling you as you're working towards your goal? What doubts are coming up? What fears are coming up? What are those things that your brain keeps saying, ah, this is not possible? Or you may be comparing yourself to other people saying, they deserve it, I don't. You got to write all those things down because that's what you would need to work on. You need to work on your doubt. You need to work on your fears because those are the things that are going to hold you back. Those are the things that are going to keep you held back. So once you write these things down, you're now becoming more aware. You guys, again, you're becoming aware. Self-awareness is the biggest thing that's going to help you as you're actualizing your lifestyle, as you're actualizing your life. So you're becoming aware of your doubts, your fears. You're becoming aware of imposter syndrome because that's something a lot of people have also said. I feel imposter syndrome. You're writing all these things down because now you're bringing them to the surface level and you're noticing the minute you begin to feel doubt and fear, you're observing and you're saying, hey, I notice I'm afraid, but I know what it is that I want to achieve. So you're going to walk past that fear, walk past that doubt, walk past that imposter syndrome. And then finally, what you're going to do is I want you to begin to work backwards I want you to start with the end in mind. Stephen Covey has a great book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I read this book many, many years ago when I was in corporate and I loved this book. And I tell my kids, they got to read it and I want you to read it. I tell my Hey Sugar Girls, read this book. It's a great book and I encourage you to read it also. Because what this book does is it really, there's a chapter in there that says, begin with the end in mind. And what that does is it really helps you get to the end of your goal and begin to work backwards. So for you, let's say you want to be able to run a marathon. So you're going to put the date. Let's say uh, the goal, the date for you to do the marathon is um, October 20th. And let's assume today's January. So you're going to start working it's October 20th. You got to run a marathon. And let's say right now you're able to do 5Ks. How do you build up? And so you put your 26 miles or however many kilometers the marathon is. So I know 26 miles marathon is how many kilometers? Ah, oh, I, I, should, I should know that. And clearly it's not coming up. My husband runs and uses kilometers all the time. Why that's not coming? 42, 42. I believe it's 42 point something. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So you put down the amount of kilometers and then begin to gradually show, okay, October, I'm supposed to be running 42 kilometers. Right now I'm doing 10. How can I gradually increase the amount of mileage, the amount of kilometers every single week, every month? When you start backwards, what you're doing is you're breaking down your goal into smaller, chewable, doable steps. That becomes much more easier for you to reach your goal because it's not this huge insurmountable thing. And then once you work backwards, it now becomes much more easier for you to implement that goal. All right. Now, that is a short overview of how to create and craft your goals. If you want to dive deeper, Use that link below. This is a workshop that I gave uh, my Hey Sugar clients. I'm giving it to you. Um, so go below, take that, begin to do it, work on your goals, and let me know what exactly are you working on. And as always, remember, you've got one life, you've got one body, and I want you to treasure it. <laughs>